Hi everyone, this is Tara with Craft and Desert Divas. I'm here today to show you this little card that I made. It's a little bee card. I think it turned out nice and I wanted to show you how I made it. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm going to show you how I made it. First of all, let me put it aside. I cut out of the wild card too. I cut out this, the whole bee, actually the honeycomb shaped here, and I cut it out at five inches. I cut it out in Recollections white card stock, so I got the base, and then I cut out, which is over here, then I cut out this layer here at the same thing, everything was cut out at five inches. I did it in the yellow and white paper, I'll show you what I cut out here, it's in the yellow and white checkered paper and that is from Recollections All Girl. I glued it on but before I did that, how I got this brown down here, before I did that I actually went with some Tim Holtz, the walnut stain and I got my little um, stamper and I stamped it underneath first so I did it nice and dark and then I glued up the yellow and white paper on it. So I did that and then um, I glued down the yellow paper and sorry if you hear my girls, they're in the back playing around outside so I did that and then what I did where I got the little bee from I got the bee from page it's create a critter create a critter excuse me cartridge page 68 there's the little bee right here he's cute and I cut him out at three inches. I did the little back. And I did the little layer for his face and the wings. Um, that's how I got him. Let's see here. And I also, what I did with him, put this up out. I actually, when I made him, I cut him out. I glued them all together. But I did him in some flocking. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can show you. There it is. Can you see how he looks sort of real? It's sort of cute. I like it. I did the flocking yellow and black and it's from Recollections banana and ebony I thought he sort of turned out nice I also did his little wings in some glitter Recollections in ocean and what I did to glue them all together to get the flocking to stick together I glued it with the Tombow when um, I stuck his face over the black part so it would stick good I also did it underneath the wings so it would stick on there is what I used to get him Okay, then what I did, let me finish him, or her, actually it's going to be a girl. Um, I actually got some little stickles, and I did, I gave her some pink little cheeks here. Let's see, let me put a little bit on. I just did a little dot on each side to make her look cute. There's a little bit. They sort of dry. I did that. And then I also just got some twine, Baker's twine, blue and white. I won it off of eBay. And let me glue a little bit of that on her. I usually glue everything down with fabric tack. And uh, let me get that here. Let me glue her little bow on. I just usually add a little. It's stringy, but it works really good. Glue it on over here up on the top of her. There we go there. Let me set her aside. And then what else I did? I also I did some um let me get this here. I did some bead landing. I got it at I believe Michaels or Joanne's one of them. I used the brown the brown here and I uh just wrapped it around the top and tied a little bow up there. Um, I had a hard time doing it earlier, so I decided to do it before I started taping. So I did that. I tied it in a little bow. And then what I did, I got some little recollection flowers. They come in the little containers here, black and yellow. And I also, let me see, let me get those out here. I did those up beforehand. There they are. I did six of them. I used yellow and black. And that's all I did was add little, let's see here, gems, 
little rhinestones, Michaels again. I used the little black ones to go inside the yellow flowers. And I did the little clear ones inside the black flowers. And I also used some of this Bead Avenue. It's tan cotton braiding cord. Sort of looks green to me. So I used it and I just glued them on the back so that uh, the little flowers would look like they had little stems down here. So let me go ahead and adhere those along the bottom. I thought they would go sort of nice with the little bee theme. Put it on here. I made the little green a little bit longer and then I'll just snip them up after to make them all nice and even with the card. I thought, well, bees like flowers, so let's add them on. There we go. I sort of did the same pattern over on the other side here. Let's go about right here. Let's glue them down. There's the black one, and maybe another light yellow one. I'll sort of move them for a second. What I did, I got a little tiny black button, and I put it right here, so I thought it sort of looked like a little doorknob for the bee. The house, I thought it was a bee house, and I thought it would look cute. It had like a little doorknob there, so I just stuck that there. And then, let me give those a second to dry. And while they're drying, I just put her on some little foam squares. Take those off here. And let me stick her up about right. Let's get her off to the side just a little. I hope that's good there. Be careful, the little stickles are still dry and they'll take a little bit to dry. And then I also got from Michael's again some adhesive rhinestones and they came like this but I wanted the little bee to have behind so I just snipped right here and then they're all adhesive. That's all you do is peel them off. You can hear my dog out there barking. And that's all you do. I like those little designs behind the bees usually. Get it right here. And I thought that looked cute like that behind the little bee for the buzzing. And then what I did, I just got a, a little tag and I went with um, Tim Holtz, the Distressed Ink and Mustard Seed. I got the same, a little sponge. I did the, the inside and I went around the edge again with the walnut stain of the Distress. And I stamped for my sweet friend. I added a little yellow rhinestone there. I got these on clearance. And uh, Martha Stewart little rhinestones. I stuck it there in the little hole. I added it on a pop dot. And let's see. I put it about right here. And the only thing I need to do is just snip off the bottom here of these. Just so they're just about even with the card. Let me get that. And there we go. There you go. I think it sort of looks really cute. I like the little wings that sparkle and I like I really like the flocking. It looks better in person. And I think it turned out really nice. I, I I do like it and I think the little shape of the beehive is cute and the little door with the little flowers. Well, I hope you enjoy. And that was pretty simple. And please go to our blog spot, which is www.craftindesertdivas.blogspot.com. Once we reach 200 followers, we're going to be giving away a $100 Michaels gift card. So go up there and follow us. You have six ways to enter. I hope you enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.